Jeremy Hayworth is uh, getting ready to start his fourth year as the head coach of the Mississippi College baseball program. The Choctaw is the defending Gulf South Conference champions and set to open their schedule against Harding University the first weekend of February. Coach, thanks for joining us here. Before we get to this season, let's talk about the impact that last season's run through the conference tournament and into the NCAA regionals had on this program. Big picture, how did that impact this baseball program? I mean, I think it was uh, huge in the impact of this uh, baseball program for the future of the program, uh, for all the hard work the, the guys did to even get here. Um, I mean, you know, in the past, we we're just trying to compete to win. Uh, I think now we have that expectation is to win uh, every time we go out into the field. Um, you know, I'm proud of the guys of everything they did last year. I mean, it was amazing to get there. And, uh, you know, when we started that tournament and we had to face North Alabama and the two-time pitcher of the year, Tyler Joyner, and he was unbelievable. The preparation our guys to do uh, to face a guy like that is not, not easy at all. So uh, once we got through that hurdle, we felt really confident in the tournament after that. Uh, you know, and then we went off to the, you know, the big dog in Delta State. and. Uh, came up with a good win there in the 11th, and uh, uh, what an environment and all that, and, uh, and then you know just icing on the cake when we won the conference tournament and uh, going to a regional first time and uh, you know school history for that, and uh, we couldn't been any more exciting and the momentum hopefully we can take into this season as well. You talked about beating Delta State; they've been kind of the standard in baseball in this league for for quite a while, and to be able to beat them three times in a year is a Impressive feat for the Choctaws, and I'm sure you heard from some MC alumni how, Im how impressed that they were that this team was able to beat Delta State like they did. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, you know, uh, the tradition Delta State has, and uh, Mike Kennison, their head coach, is I have so much respect for him. I think he is a, the ultimate competitor. Uh, you know, he, he does a great job there, and I don't think they're going to go away anytime soon. Um, but for our alumni, uh, you know, they, I got a lot of phone calls, a lot of text messages that day uh, throughout the summer. Even, you know, we're a lot of guys coming back interested in the program. Uh, but, yeah, they were happy that we won the Gulf South, but I think they were more happy that we beat Delta State. <laughs> this team is preseason number one of the Gulf South Conference and 18th in one national poll that I saw. How have the players handled this preseason recognition, knowing that now the target's on their back a little bit? Well, I think they've handled it pretty well. I don't think there's been much talk about it in the locker room. I think you'll probably see more of it on Twitter or social media uh, for those guys. But in the locker room, they know they have to take care of business every day. Um, you know, our deal is we're not going to worry about our opponents. Uh, we got to worry about ourselves. And I think when our guys start buying into that a little bit more, uh, you start playing a lot better as a team. Um, I think our guys. Uh, you know, are, are proud of the recognition, but they also know that they have to put up and have to really do all the uh, results for all that. So they know it's a long season ahead, uh, and all it is is preseason, and I know they want to be number one at the end. You know, there's not a lot of guys that you lost from the team that, that won last year, and uh, two of them, Blaine Krim, Billy Cameron, preseason all Gulf South Conference, along with Grant Barber. And you look at the lineup you'll put on the field, tell me a little bit about it, first of all, because it seems like like last year, this is a lineup that likes to find the gap a lot. Maybe not a lot of home runs, but they're going to make contact mm -hmm. and they're going to drive in runs. Yeah, well, those two guys right there are special guys. So uh, we're very fortunate to have Blaine. This will be his fourth year with us. Uh, Billy Cameron, this will be his second year with us. Uh, those two guys in the middle of the lineup are pretty tough outs. Uh, uh, our deal is not talking about a bunch of home runs. Our deal is to get on base and run production. So our average has to be higher with runners in scoring position than our normal average. So I think our guys are pretty set knowing what their, what their jobs to do uh, and get those big boys up at those particular times and let them drive in the runs. But also, if they don't get it done, we've got another guy behind them, another guy behind them. We've just got to keep passing that torch. Uh, we've just got to be relentless in everything that we do offensively. You mentioned Grant Barber, also a preseason All Gulf South Conference pick, kind of anchors this defense that made the third fewest errors in the league. It was, you know, a, a pretty good, uh, a, a solid unit for you last year. Uh, defensively, what do you expect from this year's team? I think actually we're probably going to be a little bit better defensively this year. I feel like our outfield uh, play is really good. We got a lot of fast guys in the outfield. Uh, we're just uh, returning so many more guys and seasoned veterans in this 
that they know what to expect. I think there was a lot of times where we were competing not to fail instead of trying to compete to win. Uh, and I feel like our guys have that standard and understand that standard. And they know what it takes to go out there every single day and play their role. And especially it helps the pitching staff immensely. Well, let's talk about that pitching staff because as you, you're going to use, I'm sure, these first few uh, weekends to figure out who are going to be your three on Saturday and Sunday during conference play. So as you, you take a look at those guys, what are your feelings about the starting pitching going into this season? I think this year is probably our strongest starting uh, 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 pitching staff that we've had here. Um, you know, we got four guys that we really were looking for that could be starters, whether it's on the weekend or midweek. Uh, because if you go into a tournament, you need four great pitchers. And then if you go to regionals, you definitely need that. Uh, with uh, Chris Crosby coming back to lead to lead the staff, and uh, we're actually moving Ryan Lane from the bullpen to the starting pitching role, um, and then Zach Ingram coming back. This will be his third year on the weekend, and Garrett Hollinghead, who's a transfer, uh, who will also uh, make his due uh, probably this weekend against Harding. Uh, he he did an amazing job in JUCO in Alabama. I mean, he's even gone against Chipola, who was national champions, and uh, he really threw really well against those guys and uh, should have beat them. And uh, he's going to be a huge force for the staff, too. I think we're pretty strong there, and uh, I have a lot of confidence going into this year with our pitching staff. You mentioned Ryan Lane. He was the one who had seven of the, I think, the team record, seven team saves for you last year, more saves than any other Choctaw team. So what is the bullpen like with him moving into the starting rotation? He had Tommy Taborda coming back from last year's team. Yeah, because Tommy was going with a little bit of shoulder problems last year, so we split that roll up. But Tommy's pretty healthy this year. So Tommy's going to be leading that back end uh, with, uh, you know, Chastain and Kennedy being in the middle a little bit. But we also got... Uh, a few other guys in there with Tim Holloway, who's really healthy this year. He's a senior. Um, and uh, other contributors there that are definitely going to help us in the bullpen uh, in case some of those guys get, get in trouble. Uh, but I, I feel pretty confident we got some guys that throw a lot of strikes, uh, not willing to walk, walk a lot of guys, and uh, really compete inning by inning. Who are some of the bench players or perhaps newcomers or bench players from last year's team that you think are going to contribute this year? I think Dylan Duplachain is going to probably contribute a lot more this year. I, I think uh, he's always had the potential. He's always had the talent. He, he's probably our most athletic uh, guy on the team. And uh, he's really grown up this fall and into the spring. And you can tell that uh, he's more confident than he's ever been. So I can see him, uh, you know, putting more innings in uh, from that point. Um, you know, you got Hunter Sykes at, at shortstop. Uh, and then, you know, there we got a, uh, Trace, uh, Trace Hamby from Meridian. He's coming in. There, there's a possibility. Uh, we got some new guys that could help us out, too. When you and uh, Coach Perez and Coach Terman go out recruiting, especially this past offseason, I, I bet it was just a little different in, in your approach and the word that you had to say to these potential student athletes coming to Mississippi College because of the win last mm -hmm. year. Talk just a little bit about how different it was for you recruiting, if at all. Uh, you know, that's a really good question because we get that a lot. Uh, you know, when we go out recruiting, we really just want to sell who we are. We, you know, we're proud that we want to go south, but that's not the end game. Uh, we really want to sell what we can do uh, to these young men to, to end up being good husbands and good fathers one day. So uh, we just try to sell the message of who we are at Mississippi College because we believe this is a great place. Uh, we believe the university is a great place. We believe the athletics. Uh, it has a great department and that we can sell that and uh, I think the guys see that more often than not and but it does help winning people start recognizing that but at the same time we really want to show them what we're about as a coaching staff and what we can do for them uh, and you know we expect to win uh, you know we don't want to lose at all uh, losing's not an option at our program but at the same time we just want to make sure that we're, we're helping young men become better men. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. We're looking forward to an exciting season of Choctaw baseball. I know there's a lot of anticipation. And, again, thanks so much for joining us here today and previewing the season. Absolutely. Thank you, Reed.